What's up, guys? JC here, and yeah, if you couldn't fucking tell, this is not a real suit. In fact, look, it's a it's a fucking white shirt I put under my actual suit that I use for my job and my Sigma reviews, which I typically make when I get home from work. But you want know fuck it? This will do. Look at this shit. This <laughs> shit's funny, but uh, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Today we're gonna discuss more recent comic book news. So, uh, if you guys haven't heard, yes, Batgirl, the fucking feature film that was already filmed with a $90 million budget has been canceled. And not just like, and this is fucking insane because the movie was already finished. They already finished filming the fucking thing. And yet it's done. Film is completely scrapped on the shelves. I feel terrible for the people who worked on this film because it's not like the film wasn't like, like if, I, I would understand if the film wasn't shot, but it was already shot. The entire film was completed. $90 million. Holy fuck. Warner Brothers literally wasted $90 million for a film that's never going to come out. Like, at least re come on, release this film. I actually feel like I feel bad for the people working on this film. Because their entire fucking, all that hard work out the window for nothing. You better not fucking cancel Blue Beetle. Swear to fucking God, Warner Brothers. Or Warner Brothers Discovery or whatever the fuck. I don't know. Um, what the fuck? They literally just canceled this for no reason. And there was one thing I was hoping would get canceled. The Gotham Night Show. Someone said it did. And I was so fucking happy. And then, uh, of course, you know, it just doesn't. It, it, it ends up not getting canceled. It's a weird story to go behind that, but we're still getting that piece of shit. I'd rather have the Batgirl movie, to be honest. I mean, this movie actually looks pretty promising. I feel bad for the lead actress. I really do. This That sucks, man. That, like, imagine working on a film. $90 million budget. You're throwing away $90 million. Like, release the film. You're throwing away $90 million by canceling this film. It was already completed, already finished filming. And you're canceling? What the fuck? You even have Michael Keaton in this movie. As Batman. Come on. What are you guys doing? That's fucking dumb. I'm taking the tie off. Because it, it's, it just doesn't look good with this. Because it's not a fucking dresser. It's literally just a white shirt I put on. Oh my fucking god. This looks ridiculous. Like this actually kind of looks fucking stupid. Now that I'm like halfway through this video. But you know, it's fun. Who gives a fuck? This is a dumb YouTube video. So, we do have a bit of an update also on Spider-Man freshman year. Um, this is still canon, but not canon in the way you probably think. This is, yes, a multiverse story. Or, not really a multiverse story, but more that is canon via multiverse. Multiversal link, as I've said plenty of times. So, it's an alternate MCU timeline where Norman Osborn existed. And instead of Tony Stark finding Peter in the MCU, it was Norman Osborn. Hence why he has all these iconic Spider-Man villains earlier. And he'll meet Doctor Strange earlier. And will also meet fucking uh, Daredevil earlier. So it is going to be set within an alternate MCU timeline. Sort of a what if kind of thing. But uh, yeah. So that's what Spider-Man Freshman Year will be. And it will still release in 2024. Further updates on the Spider-Man 4 in the MCU, or even TASM 3 or Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 4. We still have no updates on that currently, but once we do, I will make a video about those updates sooner or later. And more DC updates as well. And unfortunately, still no news on any Superman related properties. Really feel bad for, what, what is funny though is Kevin Feige actually reached out to the Creators a bad girl to offer his support. So that's really cool. That's why he's he's a cool dude, Kevin Feige. I respect him very much. And that's a great move too. I mean, those people also worked on Ms. Marvel. And not only that, it has to suck having your entire film that you already wait that you already fucking you already spent ninety million dollars on the film and now it's cancelled. That has to suck ass, but it is what it is. Or not really. That 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 really just that sucks. That that fucking sucks. There's nothing else I can say. And that's all for the video, guys. I'll see you guys later. More reviews coming soon. More updates. More Sigma content. Let's fucking go. I'll see y'all later.